hello welcome to my bedroom um we're gonna dye my hair today forgot the hair dye one moment my supplies i don't have gloves for some reason the amount of things that like i just can't find right now is not surprising based on what my room looks like but like i'm constantly surprised so found a brush and a bowl um, I do want to just say, like, if you're randomly here, hello, welcome. But also, I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I'm a professional. This is, however, not a professional tutorial. Um, with that being said, I'm going to be using Candy by Pulp Riot. It's in their neon electric family. And um, let's take my hair down. <sighs> I'm, like, out of breath. Um, it is Thanksgiving day today and I did not want to, but I woke up at 7 a.m. Actually at 6.50 and went to boxing at 7.30 a.m. So I go to Hotbox, which if you're in Nashville, it is amazing and I recommend it. Like the before of my hair. I desperately need my roots done but it's just blonde. I was doing a pink um, color, like what is it called? Just like a shampoo that was pink. And I liked that, but it was also like, just a little difficult because I felt like it was drying out my hair and in Arizona it was fine because I was like using, I also have no gloves, so. It is what it is. Um, it was fine in Arizona. And then once I moved here, like, it's just so damp that um, I couldn't deal with it. I don't know what to say, y'all. My hair's just been, like, going through a major phase at the moment. It's, like... Not wanting to do anything that I want it to do. And um, it's been super hard to style. I think it's just getting reused to like humidity. And also, you know, I went very blonde the last time, which I'm going to just give my hair a little break and let it grow out for a while for now. So this is like the step one of that. Oof, I'm afraid. I am actually afraid. So step one of that is covering it so that I don't feel like I need to bleach it by myself. Okay. And I'm just basically like praying that I cover everything Oh yeah, also hot box. So if you are in Nashville, I have a mirror right here too. I definitely recommend it. It's heated boxing and heated strength training. So it's actually very difficult um, because you kind of feel like you're dying. But it's good, You're. it's all good, you know? You're like, am I dying? Maybe. Did I make it through this time? Yes, amazing. I haven't dyed my own hair in so long. I like don't even know how to do it. I also haven't done just like a color on anyone's hair in so long because I only did blondes in Arizona. So I used foils. I haven't just like colored hair. You know what I mean? <laughs> So this is probably going to be a disaster. I also kind of want to watch Lemonade Mouth right now. I'm almost done with it. Well, I watched it last night and I guess I concerned people with my tweet. Because I tweeted that I was crying while watching Lemonade Mouth, which I didn't think sounded as concerning as it apparently did. So um, I'm fine. It's just my delicate little heart can't handle people being mean to Bridget Mendler and Haley Kyoko. Did I say her last name right? Probably not. 
Um, I just can't comprehend people being mean to them. So yeah, that's why I was crying. And I don't know, it's like Thanksgiving and I'm used to spending it like without family. Um, but I've lived in Nashville for three weeks now. And so it's like, I also don't have any friends here. I'm just alone, you know, which I think sounds much sadder than I feel about it. Like, I don't mind doing things alone. But I think it feels different to spend a holiday alone when I'm also like, every day after work, I'm just coming home and being alone because I don't have any friends. Because I just moved somewhere new. You know what I mean? So, like, I think it feels different this year because of that. Also, I don't want this to stain my skin, but I'm pretty sure it's going to. It's going to be great. We're going to be fine. Hopefully, I can get to the back of my head without any major issues. We'll see, though. Um, yeah. I don't know what I was talking about. Work has been good though. I've been loving it. Um, I've just been at Dry Bar. Um, I'm not doing cut and color as of right now. We will see what happens in the future. I don't know. I'm like actually regretting my decision right now to do this hot pink. So I'm trying not to have a little meltdown, but that's okay. I also, so right now I'm filming um, like what I spend in a week, which has been good. I think it's like a boring video though, because I'm trying to save money. So I'm not spending a lot, but it's realistic to like the lifestyle right now, I guess. I have just been watching a bunch of YouTubers and they're just, I feel like a lot of them have been realizing how much money they spend and I'm realizing, hmm, I'm very boring because <laughs> I'm not spending any money. But the other thing of like how I'm able to not spend as much money, um, I'm not like hanging out. I look crazy. I'm not hanging out with anyone because I don't have anyone to hang out with because I have not made friends. It's weird because people are like nice at work, you know, but I wouldn't say that we're friends. Like we don't hang out. I went to drinks with one of my coworkers, but besides that, I haven't hung out with anyone. So... Ooh, there's people outside my window. I wonder if my phone will pick it up. I wonder if you guys can hear them. Yeah, did I say this already? This is like not what I advise you do at all. I just thought it would be something fun. I don't have, like I don't know any hairstylists out here that do like cut and color. I look insane. <laughs> it's been good but scary just living in a new place alone and especially during this time of year, I feel like people are so busy. So it's harder to just like hang out with a random person because People have, you know, obligations already and they're so busy um, that it's like kind of a hard time of year to make friends, but uh, I'm, I'm here. I, I wouldn't say I'm killing it at all, but I have been killing is going to the gym and it really helps that we have um, the membership with Hotbox. So what my boss did she gave them dry bar products and then we got all employees got memberships through the end of the year so oh yeah that's what i was saying 
if anyone is in Nashville, I'm like 10 minutes ago I was saying this. <laughs> Just remembered my thought though. If anyone's in Nashville and tries out Hotbox, let me know. I'll go to a class with you. I've been trying to go like two or three times a week. So that'll be fun. I've also been like, I don't know. I left my scale in Arizona, so I don't know if I've been losing weight or just like inches or what, but my yoga pants are not fitting me the same, which is an issue because I'm not gonna buy new ones unless I'm like completely a different size, so. I'm like, this is good but bad because when you're, you know, high intensity cardio and kicking and doing all that stuff, like your pants fall down. And I wore a crop top today and my pants were falling down. So, um, yeah, not good. Not good at all. Okay, so the front is like the most important. I won't be seeing any other part of my head, so get wrecked, basically. That can look like whatever. Also, it's kind of nice because my roots don't need to be perfect because, um, they're my natural color because they're so grown out. So that's working out as best as it could. Um, I am going to start on the back now, which I think I'll probably need some more for. There we go. I'm super excited to see my hands after this because this stuff is potent. And um, I guess I wish I would have like planned this out better as far as like doing the back of my head because my camera is up against a mirror. So I don't know. You're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. I also can't see what I'm doing. So I don't really know what I was thinking. When I planned this all out, I think nothing was going through my head. But it's really just the top layers that matter more to me because anything else you won't really be seeing. I mean, I'd love for my hair to not be completely uneven. But who knows? Who knows? Do you love how I'm like, it's just a guessing game. Who could predict these things? Like... Anyone that was professionally doing your hair could predict <laughs> and like make sure it turned out good. Since I record on my phone, this is literally just me looking at myself in a mirror and recording myself in silence. So super fun. Why do I look like a rapper right now? I look like, um, oh my God. I'll find a photo and like put it here or something. Okay, did I miss any spots? Hopefully the answer's no. Okay, shout out dry bar. I am going to go finish watching Lemonade Mouth now. See you in a few. Hello and welcome back. I've had my hair. Well, I was gonna say I've had my hair wrapped up. Um, okay, this is, I don't know what I was expecting, but I did not think it would take this well. So we're using some Olaplex and number three. Olaplex number three. I'm also, I finished Lemonade Mouth finally, and now we are on the Cheetah Girls, and let me tell you, that movie is a bop. 
freaking love it so much. It's like hard for me to comprehend that people haven't seen it. Oh my God, you guys, my hair. <sighs> Again, I'm not really sure what I was anticipating, but it was not this. I'm a little afraid. Um, I didn't tell anyone I was coloring my hair, so I'm gonna go back to work tomorrow after having, oh my God, I look like so seen right now. Hang on. I feel like MySpace. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go back to work tomorrow and just be like, hi, hello. What's new? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Okay, well, I just like really need a haircut and I gave myself a little bit of a trim, but I don't want to like mess up my hair too badly. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put some Joyco heat seat. This is their heat protectant in. It's like a heat protecting and blowout balm. I love this stuff. It helps keep your hair smooth. The sun is coming back out and we're gonna blow dry my hair. So again, this is like not professional at all. I just kind of Make sure that my hair is going every which direction and rough dry it before I go in with a round brush. And I don't actually like my hair round brush blow dried. So I kind of make it as straight as possible, but I have curly hair. So it, it just kind of does whatever it wants, to be honest. And I use the round brush to smooth it and try and get as much volume. Um, yeah, I don't know what faces I'm making. Oh yeah, and then I just flip the front all over the place. Hello. Okay, so that's how I blow dry my hair if anyone's wondering. I'm just plugging in my one inch curling iron. Also pink. <laughs> I'm in shock of my hair. Let's see where it wants to part today. No. Maybe. <laughs> I love it. I'm like in shock, but I also still love it. I'm basically just looking at myself in the mirror now, but um, yeah, I'm gonna curl it and we'll be right back. Why do the ends on camera like look darker than the rest of my hair, but in real life, it doesn't look like that. But I'm almost okay with that because then they'll look more solid. Okay, well, I hate how I curled my hair, but that's okay. Um, other than that, I love it. I just am like this haircut. I need it to grow to like here and then we'll be all good. But this is the finished hair. Love it.